All right, so long time no see. I have something to share with you today. Got a crack. Um, it is this uh, luggage lock strap thing. And let's have a look at that silly picture on the back. It's just this like nylon strap here with the uh, with the um, with the combination lock on it here. So I'm going to take that off real quick. Let's just rip that junk off, and then the lock is preset to zeros, which has been changed anyway. It's called the Travel More Combination Luggage Luggage Strip Strap Luggage Strap. Oh, that's what it says. Secure and easily easily identify your baggage or whatever. So uh, here it is. It's a three wheel combination lock. A little zoom in on this, and you can see you've got these buttons here. I think it's currently set at uh, 311 or something. So in order to change the combination, there's a, you know, where is it? There's a button, see that button there? To push that in. So I'm going to push that button in and I'm going to change the combination so we can't, we can't see what it is. Like this. Juggle those wheels around. Okay. And while that's down there, we put the strap back in. Hold it away from us and just juggle those wheels around again. Right. So now we've changed the combination. So to tension this plastic junk, you have to Obviously, the first thing I would think of was to push this button in here, these two clips in or whatever. And then just move this until the wheels stop turning. Like this, while I'm pushing those buttons in. Well, that one's not binding or whatever. So I'll just do this randomly and see what it stops on. I think that one was wrong. I'm literally just... I think the easiest way is just to randomly... randomly change those. So I'm going to just hold it this way. Hang on. And I'll look at the view in the camera. I'm not really trying hard to decode this thing. Ah, there we go, I think. Yeah. So what was that? I think it was... So you can see it's like stopped between... So the tolerance between the numbers, so the tolerance just can't be too good, but my guess would be that it's 750. Now I wonder if I can actually have a look down there and you can see the mechanism inside there. So there's that button that you use to change the combination and if I press it in what happens? Well you can see it that spring in there gets compressed and those inner wheels get pushed out the way so that you can change the combination see I change it there like this and then when I've got the number it's better when I've got the number dialed in or whatever and I let go now we have the new there he is new combination dialed in and then we can lock it up again. There, like that. Shuffle those wheels. 
Uh, let's see what happens again if I just apply a little bit of tension. You can see when I push that button in, it puts tension on the wheels because you can see that wheel jumping. And then I'm not even trying. Oh, look, we got it already. So I reckon this is not the most secure item to for security, but uh, if you want a nice orange strap on your um, luggage to help you identify it, maybe help keep your bag from bursting open. I suppose this is all right, but as for security, eh, don't know if it's going to offer offer much in, res in terms of resistance. There's this plastic cover here on the back that looks like it could be pried off. But I wonder if there's a way that you could um, bypass it. And I wonder, could you decode it with this as well? Although I think it's be kind of unnecessary. I'm just going to see if I can feel anything with this tool. My hands are so white that the camera f tends to not focus sometimes. I don't feel anything on that side. There's a gap on that side of the wheel. Oh, there's something. Alright, cool. So you can actually decode it with this. I reckon. Yeah, I'm sure you could decode it, but you'd have to put it on the left side of the wheel. So, if you want to decode it with this, I suppose. Let's try that, actually. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, I see. I reckon to tension this, you only... Because that button's only on that side, I think you only have to push it in on one side to tension it. Well, since we've got the wrong combination in, I might as well decode it with this. I forgot what that combination was anyway. It stopped on 7 last time I think. Let's just put this in here. There we go. Now it should be right. Oh, it slipped anyway. So three. The tolerances are not great on this. So four there. Three, seven, four. No, quiet. I think it's quicker just doing it the other way. So, oh, I need to find that little wheel thing. Okay, there it is. So now. Don't feel anything now. Uh, I'm I'm sure it's possible. I'm not going to go through the hassle. It's much easier decoding this thing this way. So you put tension on with this, and you can decode it. So anyway, let's do that one more time. Random combinations. Seven, seven. Well, it feels like I can. It actually feels like I could put anything. One, seven, seven. No, three, seven, seven, four, seven, seven, five, seven, seven, six, seven, seven. Mm. Let's just see that zero it works on zero. It works. So it's zero. All right, so there we go, seven zero seven. Anyway, there's a fun little bit of decoding there on this bright orange strap. You could say you put a strap on your bag. Terrible joke. But it's a strap, and you put it on something, all right? Strap on the bag. Okay, enough adult humor. That's all we have here. Uh, I'm going to 
make a video on um, some browsing of locks again. This time we're going to have a look at AliExpress and there's some funny stuff that comes up um, that I want to share with you anyway and in the next video we will have a look at some windshield wiper blades. See you.